The increasing reliance on technological innovations, from pervasive digital computing to smartphone devices, is changing the nature of human technology relations. These changes are in turn having a major impact on the nature of human behaviour and the ways in which governments, defence and intelligence services understand, predict and transform collective and individual action. These issues are particularly important to the field of cybersecurity, where we see growing interest in the role that human factors play in shaping the likelihood of hacks and other security breaches. Recent surveys show that human error, from the sharing of passwords to clicking of unsafe web links, accounts for 24% of cybersecurity incidents, secondly only to phishing or malware attacks at 31%. Understanding how human factors shape and are being shaped by new technical interfaces is therefore vitally important in attempting to mitigate the potential for serious cybersecurity incidents. What distinguishes our research in cultural geography at UNSW Canberra is the attempt to develop new conceptual and methodological approaches to the human technology interface. The study of human factors has traditionally centred on scientific and engineering questions that remain wedded to quite outdated assumptions around human subjectivity and its relationship to technology. One way our research explores the evolving human-machine interface is through the conceptual lens of habit. Our argument here is that technologies really matter when they no longer seem to matter at all. That is, when they move from the new to the habitual, becoming an almost seamless part of our everyday lives, such that we barely notice them anymore. Understanding how to channel the unconscious dynamics of habit is an increasingly important factor in the design and implementation of technical interfaces across a range of domains. Social media platforms like Facebook have been leaders in this area for some time. Utilising the latest neuro and behavioural science, their interfaces contain a whole series of cues and nudges, sounds, push notifications, that automatically trigger the user to check their phone, providing us then with a little reward, an enjoyable hit of dopamine when we see our friends liking our photos. Cue, routine, reward. This is what the author Charles Duhigg calls a habit loop, and it is the means by which companies get us hooked on using their apps and services. While studies of technological habits often focus on questions of addiction and dependency, our research goes further by exploring how habits might also be a force for the generation of more positive and productive behaviours. This is an important issue for cybersecurity, professionals and teams, whose work is commonly centred on how to instil habits and behaviours of cyber hygiene in their workforce or end users. What our cultural geography research contributes to this exciting area is an understanding of the profoundly collective nature of habit formation. Habit is more than a matter of individual psychology or personality. It demands that we take seriously how things like the material design of our technical interfaces, the symbolic cues and reinforcements of our social relations, and even the various objects and distractions in the space we work in can either enable or constrain the creation of safe and secure online habits. Music